Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got a new show for y'all. Talk up. I'm solo dolo by myself. You know what I'm saying? I can hold it down. I can hold it down. It's May 21st. Monday is storming outside. My people, they might be on their way. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, if they come, cool. But if not, cool. But uh, yeah, man. How y'all doing, man? I ain't seen y'all in a week. <laughs> Shout out to Toria from Oklahoma. Got a chance to see her this weekend. Went to see my homeboy out there in Richmond, Texas. Thank you, Lucky. I ain't seen you in years, man. We had fun out there. Took my nephew, Keely, out there. What's up, Ty? T.Y.? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a chance to see uh, Corey Holcomb. I'm going to have to post that picture. Seen Corey Holcomb this weekend. On my rest and relaxation weekend. Was not nice. real nice. But, uh, yeah, man. Got a lot going on around here, man. Shout out to D-Real, Seashell, Nigel P. It's raining, it's storming outside in Houston, you know how it is. Next thing you know, it's flood out here, it's a hurricane that crept up on you, so y'all be careful out there if y'all coming, but if not, y'all stay safe here, yeah, y'all stay safe. Out there in the streets. But, uh, yeah, man. Hey, Atoria. Yeah, Dempers. She says she like my Dempers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, uh, there's a whole lot going on in these streets. I might just jump right into it. I'm going to need y'all to call in, too, because I'm, I'm I'm solo, so I need somebody to talk to, man. Call me. Call me the number 713-714-7670. I got me a juice, beetle juice, from the, uh, from the vegan store. The green seed vegan place. So nice. So nice. This is good. It makes your soul feel good. Feel good whenever. Whenever you sip it. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all. So my show. So my soul shake. That's some this juice. Yeah, call in, y'all. Call in, talk to me. Say sup. Yeah, it's called beetle juice. Y'all call me and talk to me. 713. Look the number in the comments. 713-714-7670. We talk about a lot of stuff. Uh, shout out to my, my nephew Akili. Hanging with me this weekend. Boy got drunk. Nah, I'm just <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just joking. He don't do that. He's a nice chef. He's very respectable. He's handsome. He's single. Look at for some young ladies. <laughs> Look at <laughs> He don't like that. He don't like that. He don't like to mess with him like that. But we cool, Keith? Uh, we cool. But, um, yeah, man, we got a lot going on around town. Tragedy hit close to home and everything. But, um, 
up, Dre? Dre did uh chipped in. Call, call me Dre I'm by myself, man. Get somebody to call me. I know everybody probably won't come. The weather's bad out there. People drive start driving crazy whenever it starts sprinkling. So I don't know if they're coming, but I'm gonna hold it down. We go hold it down. Hey Tina, they got my sister, my sister over here. Um Yeah man uh they matter of fact they had a clip, they had a uh a video on Facebook, y'all check. Oh, somebody calling already. Hold on. Hold on, here we go. Call from TY. What's up, TY? You want to talk up live, baby? How you doing? What's up, man? Man, what's going on, TY? <laughs> yeah, you on, baby. You live. Ain't nothing much, man. I've been trying to hold it down out here. Oh, I hear something in the background. <laughs> what that is? You might have to turn. A little lag with the video. Yeah, a little lag. How you doing out there? Uh, where, where you at? Longview, Texas. Longview, Texas, holding it down. We have to do some parties. We have to do some parties out there. Wait, hold on, I gotta try to get down, man. <laughs> yeah, because I hear uh, me, I hear you twice. But it's well, a, what are we talking about? Well, no, I, I was going to say that, uh, well, I got a lot of stuff to talk about, but the the video, did, did you see that video where that teacher beat up the student? The lady and the little girl? No, it was a guy. This student is a dude. He was a dude, right? Uh, There's two black dudes, uh, a, t a grown up and a kid. So the kid about 15, 16 years old. So he ran up on the dude, start staying. I'm like, oh, we got him, got him. So the dude was like, no, you know what? You want to fight me like that? I'm about to fight you like a real man. He picked him up and dumped him on the desk and he gave him a couple of shots to the face. And I was like, oh! So a lot of people is upset about the video that the te oh, a teacher, uh, he beat up a student. But I'm like, man, if you run up on this dude swinging like you really about to do something and somebody get with you, that's what you get. See, that's the problem. And a lot of these kids don't have no respect for authority. No respect. That's way too di Now, I would have never ran up. Substitute teacher. Let's say you got a son and he's at school mouth and all. The teacher fuck his little ass up. Would you be happy about that? Uh, no, I wouldn't. But I don't think I would be to the point to where my son would never do that. Hopefully, right, right, right. You know, but that starts at home. That exactly. That starts at home. And he probably, I don't know, he might not have a daddy to tell him, hey, don't run up on me. Don't run up on me. Don't you ever. Yeah. You know. And, and you already know, I have a four-year-old little girl and a three-year-old little boy. And my little boy is going to know. Respect for and my little girl. Yeah. So he ain't going to run up on those teachers. But at the same time. At the same time. Right, he could have bad wrapped him or uh, bad hugged him until he he stopped jerking or whatever. I don't know, but I don't know what been going on between them two. Something probably jumped off between them before, 
and and uh he, he might have he might have just been like okay this time I'm, I'm gonna stick him this time i don't know but it looked like it looked like they've been getting into it before because the way he ran up on him was like yeah I'm, i got i'm gonna get you this time i was like whoa so the dude picked him up slammed him me myself i was like oh well that's kind of that's what he get because me myself i would have never ran up on no teacher like that but like i said man it starts at home it starts at home man you, know? you gotta talk to these kids but, so these kids don't have no respect for authority none it, it's like I, I know that's right I'm, I'm taking it back to old school man. yeah you got you. to it's not gonna look my kids no 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 you're gonna get your ass for exactly because if you don't if you don't talk to them go ahead Oh, I'm not gonna whip my kid. They gonna have a better life. But no, they need their ass whipped, man. Yeah, a lot of them do. They do. A lot of them do. And and it's just it's just like, oh, I get to do whatever I want to do. I I swing on this fool. You you trying to swing on a grown right. man? <laughs> a lot of people ain't gonna take. They ain't gonna take that, man. Now. Uh, uh, I don't know if I would swing on a kid if he start <laughs> if he starts swinging like that, but I'm too skilled with my hands to be knocking kids out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm too skilled with my hands. It's like uh, it'd be cheating. What's up, Lucky? Kind of say teach your kids right from wrong, and it starts from home. Respect all is all about respect. That's right. That's right. She said I'm all about respect. Yeah, because you, you got to show respect at home. Got to show them how to treat. Because a lot of people be like, uh, if somebody tell you something, you tell them back. And they don't say who. They just talk about anybody. The kid think it's anybody. Right. You know. And a lot of these kids don't got respect for themselves, man. Oh, yeah, that too. It's, it's that's, just. A, that's what it kind of falls down to, too. You know, a lot of these kids don't even know what respect is. Right. They just do anything. They just self-entitlement and they can do whatever they want, man. Yeah. You know back in the day, man, they not even cussing from the teacher. Let's go. Get on it. Yeah. We don't even cussing from the older people. And not, like, if I go to, I, I used to go to my um, nephew's, I used to go to my nephew's band, band uh, ceremonies and stuff at his school. When he played band, and I'll be up in the audience in the stands, and you hear these young kids, they know you older than them. I know I don't look that young. They know you older than them. They saying all kind of cuss words. All kind right. of real vulgar cuss words. I'm like, oh my God. But they don't stop. I was telling, I was telling my wife that, you know, my little daughter, she doesn't know certain cuss words. She was telling my little son why the hell she's crying. Whoa. Trying to let her know what the cuss words are. But I was saying, she, yeah, back in the day when I was a kid, I've never been on the playground playing kickball, cussing like a sailor. Yeah. Like, 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 But a lot of it is social media. A lot of it is technology. Right. And like right now, when. You know, we, we watched that. We watched Jerry movies back in the day. We were scared as hell. But these little kids now, man, they see it. People get their hair cut off in drug cartels. They get to watch that shit at will. Right. They get to watch it all day on YouTube. And then I don't know. The Man. Right, it's like no filter, nowhere. It's right. anything goes. Oh, I know, I know about this. I know about that. And anything they want to, anything they want to find out, they just Google it. Just type in one word, all kind of stuff gonna pop up. They got access to everything. Right. 
They have those phones and they watch whatever they want to watch. Yeah. It's like, man, what we gonna do? And then we were just happy to, to look at the Playboy channel all scrambled. <laughs> yeah, you can't even really see the TV. You <laughs> didn't see nothing, but you thought you were being all yeah, and then tell me, tell the truth. You were scared to death, right? Yep. Scared to death that somebody was gonna come in there and see you trying to watch a nasty, nasty movie, and it was like, oh man, heart racing, and you just be like, you know what? I'm gone. I ain't, I ain't gonna be worried about this. But, yeah, but look, this is the real reason why I called in. I ain't trying to jump y'all subject. Uh -oh. That's the real reason why I called in. Uh oh. I want to know what you think and what the viewers think about this childish Gambino. This is America. Oh, what I think. Well, I tell you what I think about it. It's exactly what he he painted a picture with his music and his video. It was all it was all art. It was like. Right. This is what's going on right now in America with with the with the rap artists, with the music industry, with reality, with TV shows. And and the thing is he just kept kept on dancing the whole way through. The whole way through kept dancing, people getting shot. He's shooting people. Yeah. It's a distraction. You got you got people getting killed in the background. You got people filming the whole time, everything. And the whole while, at the end of the video, he's running from a mob of, a mob of people. And I see that as, that's his. One of my questions about the video, is he running because he's being chased? Or is he running because he knows the black he's gonna get this video? Well, I look at it as it's just your your fans. They always your followers. You know, nowadays they say followers. It's your followers just like waiting for you to fall and they just running up on you to see what's actually gonna happen with you. You know, because they looking, you know, they follow, you know. I, I never really got the the thing why they say follower. You know, follow me, follow me, you know. I, I don't I don't, I don't understand that. Follow, follow. That's 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 the struggle because I remember getting my ass whipped as a child because I was a follower. Exactly. Me too. You know? Did, did you did you provoke it or did you follow somebody? Right. You follow this motherfucker, so you getting your ass whipped. You're not being a leader. You're being a follower. And what's the age old saying that they always used to say? Uh, if they jump off a bridge, you gonna do it too? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. It, 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 it's really not a lot of individuals anymore. It's a bunch of followers. Yeah. Because you watch you watch these Facebook videos and uh, these little kids fighting with the person you see. You see motherfuckers pulling out their phone videotaping. Yeah. That's how these little kids know now. And they be so quick with it, you don't even know. You don't even know they pulling out a phone. That by the time you look up, they recording you already. And it's like, right. oh well. Right. Cause I, I, I've grown, being older, I've grown past accidents that I want to film, but I don't think about it because I've already passed the accident up. Right. These kids now, they already ready to press record. Yeah, it's like automatic. Like you be like, oh man, I should have, I should have recorded that. But it's way too late because you ain't got that that uh, reflex like they do. It's like a reflex to them. It's like real quick. Uh, record, record everything. Record this. Look, uh, Atoria say, Atoria say kids will test you. We have to check these kids. That's true. Ayana said it's a it's a uh, representation of exactly what's going on with the news and social media about the video. Yeah, is that is everything he did in that video is going on right now. Right now. That's why people hey, That's why people is robbing right. and stealing like they are. That's why people think they gotta be when he when he passed up, those kids were filming everything with their phones. He was like Kodak. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's crazy. The only thing that I didn't understand in that video, there were two things I didn't really understand in that video. Talk to me. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Come on. <laughs> the first one was the fact that they had those old cars. Hmm. What does that symbolize? And, and, and why did he light the cigarette up and walk over to the car? Hmm. I don't know about the cigarette, but the car. That symbolizes that even back in the day we were dealing with the bullshit and we're dealing with it now. Like right, I, that's what I'm thinking. Like. And I didn't understand the white horse in the background. Oh, the white horse was death. You know how they always say the pale white horse will come riding in and that's death? All thing I wish is that, like, okay, when he shot up the church. I wish, I wish he would have used a white person to do that. Oh, man. It would have been way clearer. Right. And speaking of the church, was that, was that key from Key and Peele in the middle? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You gotta watch that. It looks like Key from Key and Peele in the middle figure. Hmm. Interesting. That's pretty interesting, but I think the the old cars was like that's how long it's actually been happening since the age of those cars. Okay. And, and and why why um I forgot what I was about to say. Why should I feel? <laughs> I don't know what you was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I believe that was a very genius video. Very well done. Yeah. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Genius video. Last night, I was watching reactions to the video. And this one guy from another country, this white guy, he was breaking down the video like to the teeth. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't studied it like that. If you see the fact that when he shot a person, he put the gun in like a red velvet pillow, oh. but yet they just dragged the body away like it didn't mean nothing as if like the gun was more important than the murder. Hmm. Oh, Tori say, did you notice there was nine people in the choir? The number of people that was killed in North Carolina. I didn't notice that. Oh my god, that's a little deep right there. That's a little deep. That's a little deep right there. That's a little deep, Oklahoma. Man. But you know, it you know, like you say, it, it just keep happening. All this stuff just keep happening. The same stuff on the video, the same stuff in reality. It keeps happening. Something is going on. Just like this boy went shot up them people in the school the other day. Same stuff, man. This stuff is going on too much. Then, uh, okay, hey, speaking of that, speaking of that, do you think that that a lot of these shootings post the Columbine is because of social media? People see. Man, yeah, that's the media. copycat. That's a copycat thing. That, that's all they're doing. They want to be somebody too. Oh, oh, look at that. this guy getting all this attention. I want to do it. And you know, no, I don't think any other shooters got killed unless they killed themselves. Exactly. Have any of them got killed? And you want to know why they didn't get killed? You want me to say it on app? You want me to say it, huh? Huh? Ah! Wow. Because they white boys. They look young white boys. The people, the boy at Waffle House didn't get killed. The boy the other day didn't get killed. The Dylan Roof didn't get killed. I shouldn't have said his name. And the other guys that did the same thing didn't get killed, except for the little boys, the two little boys, Columbine. They killed themselves. Me and my wife were talking about that shit last night, and we were saying that would something happen? Would there be a resolution 
if a little black boy killed a bunch of white little kids? Oh my God, they were little. See, I was thinking about that today. Why don't they shoot these little schools where it ain't really no hard head, knucklehead, wild kids? What if they go to the schools where it's some little hard head, knucklehead, hard head kids, and they have a, they have some competition? See, they go into the school where nobody else has guns. Go to one of these schools where one of these other little boys got some guns. Oh, oh, you, oh, you trying to run up? Right. Right. Oh, he's shooting. When, when, when I was in high school in Cali, we had two shootings in my high school. Dang. We never made the news. You all right? But, but we had, it was gang related. Oh. It was gangs coming on the campus shooting at other gangs. Uh -huh. That never made the news. And I remember seeing one of my homeboys get shot, man. And he laughing about it. Yeah, shot in the ass. He laughed. Oh no. Yeah, man. Oh, Atoria say because we're not standing up. And, 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 and I hate that they always make it about bullying. Yeah, it's not about bullying. It, it's not about that. It's about. It's not about, man. These kids have issues, man. They, they are exposed to too much. It can't be about bullying. They, they president is a bully. He bully everybody. You see, the people he don't like, he fire them. You fire. He bully people all day, all time. Twitter, Twitter. He bullying people on, on tweets. All we, kinds we of stuff. We played the dozens as kids in high school all the time. Nobody came back to shoot the school up. Nobody. All that did, all that did was made us tougher. Quicker on our feet with with comebacks and sharper with our hands, and that's it. Nobody killed each other. Well, you know, either was cool or cool afterwards, or you wasn't. I mean, I don't know, man. These kids different, man. Different. It, it, it's crazy. Very crazy. These kids out there, man. Even if it is bullying, they're telling you that everybody wants to bully. Hmm. Yeah, I posted something earlier, and it was like uh, the boy that did the shooting the other day got like 40 years and some other stuff. Killed 10 people, injured 10. And some other little black boy, I don't know what he did, got a life sentence. It, it's happening. They, it's like they're slapping us in the face every time something like that come up. It's like a slap in the face. Chantel say, uh, I believe times have changed. Uh-oh, it, it switched. I'm sorry, Chantel. Oh, I believe times have changed. Parents still, uh, what she say? Oh, parent, parenting styles have changed. Due to the laws changing back in the days, everybody could get your could whoop their child. Uh, people always want to justify their child's behavior. Whoop that ass! I agree. That's the same thing Ty said earlier. These kids got to get whip whippers, man. Whoop that ass! They got to. I got my ass And then, ass. if you got a good child, you don't need to. But you do. You still have to discipline them. Like my nephews, my I got two nephews and a niece. They was pretty good kids when they was little, right, Ayana? <laughs> then they grew up to be bad girls, they bad girls. No, but them kids was really good kids. And you didn't have to get on them a whole lot. You know, they do little kid stuff. They get in trouble, like they kids. But they wasn't all, you know, cussing and going on and doing all kind of disrespectful stuff. They was good kids, so you didn't really have to do that to them. That's and not, not a good grown ups. So it just carry over to to uh to being a grown up. But some of these kids is horrible and they need a whipping. Like when I was coming up, <laughs> them kids was growing up with me was horrible. They needed they butt whipped. <laughs> 
Not me. Not me. Not me. The mother kid. Yeah. <laughs> I love you too, baby girl. And me say she left. But yeah, man. Do you, do you think that that? Do you think that these kids shouldn't have the privileges that they have, such as being able to see whatever with these cell phones? Yeah, they can see whatever. Whatever you can pull up on your phone, they can pull up on theirs. Because I got, like, like when I put this video on YouTube, I got it blocked from kids, right? So I was telling, I was telling this girl that was asking about the show. I showed her how to do it. And on her phone it said, are you 18 or older? And all you have to do is click the button. I'm like, so what What you got, what I got it blocked for? All you gotta do is click the button. Oh, Aaron said I was the worst child at Morningstar. <laughs> Talking about other people's kids. <laughs> I was not the worst kid at Morningstar. That was Chad Tillman was the worst kid at Morningstar. <laughs> it's so crazy because when I was a kid, it was all about who is the king of the school. Now it's about these little kids come back and shoot the school up. Right. You can't talk about nobody. You can't. You can't say what are those or uh, anything. They come back and want to shoot everybody. This little boy said when they caught him, he said, "Well, I was gonna shoot the quarterback, but you know, I liked him a little bit. It was it was my friend." Like what? Exactly. So you shoot people you don't like. If I shot people I didn't like, you know how many people be dead? <laughs> Man. Me included. Oh yeah. Man. People need to get over themselves. Uh, I'm mad, so I'm gonna just kill everybody. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm glad we can talk about it. But we need to do more than talk about it. Okay, so you said we need to do more to talk about. Yeah, what can what? I I don't know if exactly, but I tell you what, y'all better not get y'all guns up. If they trying to push something to be like everybody, we need to just get rid of guns. Don't do that, cause we the only ones gonna be giving up the guns for real. Wasn't the last time they did a fair deal with us or anybody? Let me know. When the last time they did a, with a, a real fair deal with anybody? Hey, you know, we give our guns up. You give yours up. Okay. We give our guns up. Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> a massacre. Again. I watched a video of a, uh, of, of a bunch of white like basically training you know what I'm saying and they have like a little split screen of black people and we out here twerking dancing and they out here training with guns right yep uh, Chantel say I don't think they should have the privilege of electronics if you tell a child to go outside and play they don't even know what to do. No mud pies, no riding bikes, no hide and seek. None of that. Kids don't know what mud pies are. They don't know what sugar canes are. Cool. They don't know what the little uh, sourdough, uh, little plant meat to eat. They don't know about that. I was telling my nephew, we went, we went to my mom's house in the country, and we went to the the pasture in the backyard, and. I was telling them we used to pick so many berries, like wild blackberries. We used to pick berries and eat them. We used to pick like buckets of five gallon buckets of berries and just sit down and eat them. Sometimes we 
We get tired of eating them regular, we'll put salt on them. We get tired of the salt, we put sugar on them. We give them to our aunties, they make jelly out of them. Just, we had just so much outside experience, we wasn't scared of nothing. Nothing. Was, nothing, what, nothing like that, you know. Man, it's, it's, just a, it's just a big difference, man. Only thing we were scared of was that man, you remember? That man gonna get you. <laughs> yep. Whoever that man was, that man. Oh, here come that man. He'd be like, oh, ah. that man. But man, we, we was outside in the summertime from can't see in the morning to can't see at night. Well, we had to beat the stoplight on I mean, the uh, corner light. But other than that, we was gone. But yeah, man, it, it's, a, it's a lot that changed. And, um, you know, people, people is different with their kids and stuff. Way different with their kids. Way right. different. And I, I'm going I'm to I'm jump the subject real quick. Did you see, or did you hear about T.I. was going home? He was going home to his gated community. And the at first the security guard was asleep. So he woke the dude up. Dude, get up. I'm T.I. I'm home. I'm Tilt. Let me in. Let me see your ID. He's still asleep. Dude was like, I don't got my ID. Let me in. You know I stay here. I live in such and such and such. Dude was like, no, you can't in. You don't got your ID. You can't get in. Call the cops on him. No, first, uh, he, let, he let him in. He let him in for a little bit. Then T.I. went home. So he got upset while he was thinking about it. Dude, man, such, 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 such. So he go, he go back up to the guard shack and get into it with the dude. End up having words. You know T.I. like 4-2, right? So yeah, yeah. he talking to the dude. This and that, this and that, and the other, this and that, and this and that. Dude called the cops. The cops came in the gated community, goes to T.I. house, and take T.I. to jail. <laughs> Why? We we no, not, I ain't heard about that. Yeah, we ain't supposed to have nothing to say about nothing. If we, if somebody if anybody call the cops on us, we going to jail. That's not how it's go. Right? That's not how it's supposed to go. That's not how any of this goes. We not supposed to go to jail every time somebody pick up the phone and call the cops. They have a lady. Y'all seen this lady? She everywhere now. Called the cops on these guys that was barbecuing and tried to get the cops to take them to jail for barbecuing. Yeah, yeah, and, I saw that. Yeah, and a white lady, another white lady recorded the whole thing and chased her off. As soon as the cops came, she bust out crying and going on. Like, what's going on, man? What's the call on the cops thing? And, uh, it's like every every chance they get, they call the cops. Too much noise, call the cops. Trevor Noah, Trevor Noah said uh, they should charge people for calling the cops. So if it's a real situation, you get charged. But if they get out there and they see it's a real situation, they give you money back. He said that'll stop a lot of people from dialing nine one one or calling the cops for nothing. If you got a noise complaint, go talk to your neighbors. Nine times out of ten, people are listening to you and like, hey man, I got to get up at three in the morning, man. Can you turn it down a little bit? Oh man, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Bam. Problem solved. Now, if they keep on doing it, you can't sleep. Uh, maybe, might ask them again. I'm not saying go load your gun or nothing. But, hey, can't sleep. <laughs> Help me out, man. I really got to do these hours tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. You could, you could easily fix that. But first thing they want to do is call the cops. Call the cops. That is that's becoming. Hello, driver one. Yeah. He's eating Chick Fil A. <laughs> Hello, nine one one. I just seen a. I just seen a black guy stuffing money in the ATM machine. <laughs> you know, just anything, man. This guy got on shades on 
and his, the sun is going down. He looks suspicious. He's scared. Me. You know. We never gotta be mad. What? What y'all talking about? Oh yeah, uh, the, a white lady called the cops on a black guy, a, a, a black guy of course, a melanated man, and he had just bought the house, about to flip it or sell it or whatever, and he goes up to the house, and the lady yelling out the yelling out the door, "You get away from here! This is not your house!" And then I'm gonna call the cops, and she actually called the cops. It's a good thing the dude had all his paperwork with him. Dude had paperwork and everything on him. You know, the cops told the lady, you know, he after he uh, violated his uh, rights and checking his paperwork and everything, he confronted the, the, the police officer, confronted the lady. But still, do you have to do all of that? That's ridiculous, right, man. Right. We got to show everything. We got to have everything in line. For us to be out doing doing business, better not be doing no business. We'll burn you down, just like Black Wall Street. Don't get don't get too rich out here in these streets. Okay, pretty much what they tell me. But it, it's it's. So what? So whatever happened to the Ti thing? He went to jail. I don't know what happened. After that, I'm pretty sure he got right out, but but still, you know, he went to jail for that. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Chantel said that's because white people knows it. White people, y'all knows it. I got some white people on here. Let us know if you know it. <laughs> Frank, where you at, Frank? Hey, just like reality. I got my kids in there crying right now, my little boy. Uh-huh. I gotta go tend to him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what you do. Hey, Silky. Uh-huh. Let, let, let me call this line back, man, because I gotta go deal with this little boy. All right. You take it easy. Thank you for calling, man. Talk up on Mondays. On Mondays at seven, and uh, call call in time you like. I'll call back next Monday for sure. Yes, sir. Hey, you be good, man. You too, man. All right. Yeah, so that was Ty man calling in, having a long conversation with old Silky Black. So if y'all feel like calling, uh, call in. Aaron, Atori, Chantel, y'all call in, and. Uh, how at your boy, but it's been a lot going on, man. All this racist stuff. I don't know what to do. You know, they had a, actually had a man found hanging in Mississippi by his neck from a tree. That, that's the same thing as Childish Gambino's video. It's just, man. It's getting it's getting crazy, and they they was trying to say they didn't know if it was a suicide or a homicide. Yeah, he climbed up in a tree and hung, jumped out the tree and hung himself. Right. You heard about that? Oh, you calling? Seven one three. Seven one four. Seven six seven zero. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You know, you don't want to be scared, but it's scary. Uh oh, we got a caller calling me, y'all. Hold up, hold up. Welcome. Answer. Hey, how you doing? You live? Hey. You you live on Talk Up? What's going on? How you been? I'm good. How you been? I've been doing good. That's good. That's good. Probably a chit chat with you. Yeah, come on. Talk to me. I was listening. You know, I was listening. Let me turn my phone over. Um, I was, I was thinking about 
got some kind of I, I, I got something to say let me let me say what I yeah like y'all say you don't matter <laughs> exactly and it don't <laughs> until you start cooking I'll tell my kids let me say if you ain't paying no bills you ain't grown so yeah. I mean you ain't making no decisions I'm still telling you what you gonna order off this menu <laughs> yeah because <laughs> uh, uh, I hear that a lot nowadays like what, what y'all what y'all want to eat it's like we didn't get to ask that. We said what we wanted. It don't matter what y'all want. Mama, I want McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, McDonald's. We got some food at home. You gonna eat this little we got at home? McDonald's yeah. was a privilege. We ate McDonald's only on Friday. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
That was nothing funny about that video. They laughing. He was cussing bad. Hurt my feelings. <laughs> my feelings. My feelings. My feelings was hurt. I was like, oh, this little boy. And he knew what he was saying. Knew exactly what he was saying. Dre say, Dre say, uh, I ain't scared of, what'd he say? I ain't scared of my kids. I slide all four of them. That's I'm right, Dre. And dare somebody to say something. <laughs> dare somebody. You gotta slide these kids sometimes. I gotta slide my daddy say, boy, you boy, I'm gonna hurt you. And I stop playing. You gotta slide them just just on GP. Exactly. You might think about doing that. <laughs> Cause we used to catch a whip when, when other kids got in trouble. Yes, and that's how it should be now. Because oh, so Exactly, and that will keep everybody in line. Y'all better not do that, y'all. Uh, I'm going. I'm going tell. I'm going to tell your mom. Now, I used to fight a lot when I was younger, and people would tell my mama, and my mom would tear me up, and that kind of stopped me from fighting. A lot of times, I was fighting behind her. <laughs> you know, kids like your mama, <laughs> and I be yeah, fighting. Yeah. But she didn't like that. What's up, Zach? She didn't like that. She look, she on here now. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about you. She jumped on here uh, at the right time. As soon as I said her name, she jumped on here. Yeah, used to whip me for fighting for her. Talking about them people don't know me. How you fighting for me? They don't even know me. <laughs> they was talking about my mom. Yeah, but man, we we did stuff. We got in trouble for other kids, so next time we'll be like, hey, remember we got in trouble for that last time? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. It was like, you got to have you gotta have some kind of, I guess, leadership. And that's you got to start that as a kid. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's not so wrong. Parents got to be leaders. It's, oh, man. You said the kids it. Gotta, the kids got to see you doing stuff. With the community, the kids need to see you praying. The kids need to see you talking properly. Exactly. Yeah. That's not the thing. Because I always tell my kids, when you walk out my door, you represent me. Mm. You better say that, girl. You don't hooping and hollering. Huh. And nobody cussing them out, going off. Nope. But exactly, just like you say, when you leave this house. Uh oh. All right, young lady. Uh, thank you for calling. Let me get this other line calling in, okay? Thank you. Okay. No, thank you, sugar. Bye. All right, take it easy. Call from Dre. Hey, Dre. Thanks for calling Talk Up, young man. Uh, you are live on Talk Up. You got it. Yeah, look, look, my mama say I told you not to fight. Huh? You know, back in the day, when uh, the mama would tell you, hey, go up to that school house and make me look bad and have me come up there. Exactly. Exactly. Don't make me come up there because if I have to come up there, I'm going to act a fool. And you knew. Exactly. You. I, for, I, for one time, I was in school and I was sitting in the front of the class and I had my head down. I was messing with some baseball cards and stuff wasn't paying attention. And everything was going to dorm. I looked up, I'm standing right behind you. Ooh. I thought you opened up a black time when I got home. Ooh. Got it. And, and what's that feeling that you felt when you looked up and saw your mom? Man, I can't even explain it. You can't even explain it because. My whole, my whole body was paralyzed. <laughs> your heart turned white, huh? <laughs> you know what that means? That means all the blood. Went everywhere else out your heart and your heart turned cold. It sure did. Yes. Well, uh, what you were saying earlier about these kids going to school acting up, what I noticed, man, you got these YouTube kids be on YouTube and they be doing pranks and stuff and think it's funny and what's that dude named Boom? You know, you know, I said that it's really not fly when these kids take it and then they run with it. No, oh, I could do that, I could do that. I swear, if I go to school and hit a teacher flying my son, 
I'm about to teach you what he did first. Because ain't nobody gonna slam your kid for no reason. Right. Exactly. But uh if that but first of all, my kids know that. Uh-huh. They know that. We don't play that. We don't play. That. I mean I'm I'm soft. My wife is bad. So. Right, and you know, you don't want you. Yeah, of course, nobody wants their kid to get slammed. And like you say, if they do, it's like, well, what happened? You know, you don't just come up there swinging. I mean, you would want to, but you don't just go up there swinging. You gotta like, okay, well, what happened first? Oh well, he sw he came up to me. He was cussing. And he swung at me and hit me in the chin. You did that, my my kid. You did that. That's you know that's what. That's that's uncalled for. That's uncalled for. You don't you don't do that. You don't hit a teacher like that. Now I can see if another student. I, I, I don't know what he. I don't know what he gets nervous with that. I, I, I mean, I was kind of bad back in the day, but I ain't never ever ever something like that. Never. When my mama found out, I was gonna die. Exactly. Exactly. And when I say die, I'm not being. I mean, I would be dead. Yeah, you know. literally. Cause mama didn't play. Right. Your mama didn't play yeah, that back then. Yeah, man, it was, it was, it was real. It was real back in our day. But yeah, that. And these new school parents, new school parents want to be friends, so they want to be get hot, but want to hang out with you. Oh, this my best. This ain't my best. This is my child. Exactly. Act right. Talk yeah. like you did. My mom used to tell me that all the time. I ain't, I ain't your friend. Like, man, my mom ain't my friend. Uh... <laughs> nah, but they, they, they call CPS. So when CPS leaves, they can work. Yeah, go with them. And, and they'll be bringing you right back here. Yeah, man, we didn't, we didn't even think about, we didn't even think about doing nothing like that. Hitting the grown up? So our parents put that fear. Exactly. You had that fear and knowledge that you knew you was gonna get towed up when you got home. You knew I it. Talk so many. I could, I could name some of them. I got work in the shower and the stove in the car. In the shower? Hell, outside naked. Oh. My mom ain't play no games. No I tried to run most of the time. My mom was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, she. Not right. But sometimes when I ran, yeah. she had help. They was blocking off doors and and pushing the couch out in the middle of the floor. I was diving over couches and cutting flips and stuff. They got me anyway, Dre. They got me anyway. Man, you know when I, <laughs> when I was younger, we had duct tape on everything: remote control, cordless phone, anything you could do. She threw at me. Ooh. So running wasn't hot. Yeah, man. It, Everything was, you got, anything she was close to, you got hit with. I remember one time, yep. I got hit with a hot spatula. I think I threw that spatula away after that. <laughs> I ain't been looking for it ever since, but yeah, I didn't mess with it no more. Like anything while I'm a red belt. You, you had colored belts good? Go get that red belt. Oh, you knew what time it was then. Oh, yeah, she just told me to be all the hands in the hand. <laughs> she had your name on that thing. Yeah, so but, I knew better to go to school and act up. But it's getting bad out here, man. Not just the kids, it's these grown ups cutting up too. Did you see the guy? You get pushed to the limit. Wait, did you he see the. You know these kids are fat. Did you see the guy that, uh, and the reason why I'm saying this is because these, these grown-ups is acting out so bad. Well, they probably been doing it, but everybody can see it now because the social media is so strong and everywhere. Uh, the lawyer was in some store and the people was talking in Spanish. He, he said he was going to send them back to Mexico for talking Spanish. He didn't want them talking Spanish. Oh, he they were Mexico. Exactly. They, he said. Exactly. So he, first of all, he was ignorant for saying any of that. Then he gonna say, "Well, you, this is America. You don't, you don't speak Spanish. You speak English." 
and he was, uh, I think he was Slovakian or something. He was something else. But how you gonna tell these people if they're not talking to you, they talking to somebody else. Don't worry about what they're saying. You know, people I tell you what. I tell you what, and you know this for a fact. My wife is Spanish. Your wife's Spanish? So how you feel about this guy? Cause I promise you, if somebody charged my wife or my mother-in-law like that, they gonna catch these hands. That's all it is to it. Ooh. I ain't gonna have to play like that. They gonna catch these hands, left hook, right hook, uppercut, I'm done. They gonna have to. Yeah. I mean, cause if some people, this, this, okay, this is America. We got people from everywhere. everywhere. Some people are more comfortable than they native tongue. You know, they speak easier. So let them, let them speak. Let them do. Let them do they do. Yeah, let them talk. If they're not talking to you, let them talk. Exactly, exactly. You always get somebody else here. Right. Man. And then you Man, see, you he's a white male, so he talking real reckless to two Hispanic women. You know, <clears throat> but if, if, probably, if, it was a, if it was a guy, he probably would have never did that. You I'm know. Yeah, that's how they, that's how they do. That's how they do. They talk real reckless, and, and especially when you're on your job, they want to catch you while you're on your job because they feel like you ain't gonna say that you're gonna lose your job. So they catch you while you're on your well, job. You see, you, you see, you get out of the office, right? Yeah. And then every time that uh, reporters try to come talk to him. He burned off running, he wearing masks and all this stuff. What you what you scared of now? No, he was bad earlier. He was real bad earlier. Real bad. Now you don't want to say that. Yeah, somebody, somebody went and put a march a, a mariachi band in front of the apartment today. I think it was the day yesterday. Had a mariachi band out there playing in front of the apartment all day. Being a little lady. <laughs> that was funny, boy. I bet she was sick, boy. I bet she was sick. But that's that's good for him. Just like they did that lady, they uh they went to have a barbecue in front of her apartment. She was crying. Mm. Oh yeah, they went off. They was doing a wobble. Wobble baby wobble. It was all in her front room. Yeah, it was all that up front window and everything. But yeah, it's getting crazy out here, man. It's getting real crazy, really crazy. But yeah, well, I, thank you for calling, Drake, man. I'm going to wrap it up. You know, I'm, I'm doing a solo dolo tonight. But yeah, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all watching. Mama, Marla, Mikael, Sheree, Miss Vivian. Zach, all the time. Lucky, Dre, Rob, all y'all. Love y'all, man. But yeah, uh, oh, uh, before I go, mm -hmm, uh, Netflix is giving Obama and them a deal, some kind of deal. Uh, my nephew was telling me about it. Uh, Akita, you want to come talk about it or you want, you want to just say it from back there? Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, well, he, he said it's uh, he gonna look it up real quick. But they giving him a Netflix deal to where I think they people can pitch them. It's like a show they can pitch them ideas and they get to help people. Uh, oh, hold on. They get to help people like uh, do whole bunch of stuff I guess it said uh, uh oh hey Dre Dre my son what's up <laughs> thank you for calling Dre 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 hung up on me Lord but thank you for calling young man uh yeah say uh President Obama and Michelle Obama has entered into a multi-year agreement to produce films and series to net from Netflix Potentially include scripts, series, unscripted series, documentaries, and features. That 
is nice. Y'all get this money, your bottles get this Netflix money. Y'all better not cancel y'all. Y'all better not listen to no me. The Obama's gonna be on there if y'all think that's cool out there. But anyway, they get to help people, so maybe people like me. I might write a script or something and be on the Barack and Michelle Obama show. Ain't that one that be nice? Be really nice, man. Yeah, I'm gonna sing him. Yes, love. If I was you, I would say yeah. Speak, Lord, speak to me. <laughs> y'all, hey, I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. My name is Silky Black. And uh, I thank y'all for watching today, man. I held it down. Give it up for me, kid. Put your hands together. Give it up for Silky. Yeah. Uh, uh. Thanks for my calls. All that. There's a bunch of people saying stuff. I couldn't read all the stuff, y'all. I'm sorry if I didn't get to y'all, but I couldn't see it all. I couldn't see it all. Because sometimes we have other people here, and they be catching it, and they be talking about it. But I couldn't catch it all. Y'all was too quick for me. I didn't think this many people going to watch. Oh, oh, I want to shout out to my little cousin, uh, Joe Naya and Baby Joe, Joseph Jr. Well, they twins, right? So, Joe Naya is graduating high school and college at the same time. Ain't that something? My little cousin, man. She is graduating, I guess she started taking college classes in high school, and now she's getting ready to graduate high school, and then a couple more weeks later, she's gonna be graduating college. Man, that is history. Y'all put y'all hands, put, give me a thumbs up. If y'all give it up for uh, Joe Naya, y'all give me a thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. Thumbs up, love, heart, or something, laugh, or I don't know. All, that. all of them. Give me all of them. Fuck her, y'all. I wish I had a picture of her. She's so cute. She the girl. She got a twin brother. And uh, they about to graduate. But she about to graduate high school and college at the same time. I want to shout out to my crew. Uh, D-Real. Seashell and Nigel P. Uh, it's storming, it was storming outside. And, uh, so I had to go in solo. Uh, 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 uh. And I ain't want nobody else driving out here in this rain and stuff. You know, people can't drive when it's sprinkling, so I know doggone well they can't drive in, these, in this type of weather like this. But I'm Silky Black. This is Talk Up. It is Monday, May 21st, and I'm out.